Yeah, uh, it just makes defense a lot more easy. Uh, guys can pressure their man to sit them to the paint. Um, it just makes everybody's life a little easier. We've yeah. seen that you had a career high eight assists tonight. Mm -hmm. um, how impressive is that, especially given he's just getting back and it kind of takes some guys right. time to breathe? Yeah, it's impressive, but that's what Evan does. He's capable of passing the ball at a high level. Um, you know, even for me, I didn't even realize he had eight assists until towards the end of the game. It just all came into the flow of the game. Uh, it's not like he has to go out of his way to get stuff like that. It's, it's impressive to be what, how old he is and just do that in, what, 25 minutes at that. Darrell. Um, Jared, you've uh, been on a little bit of a roll, I think, since December 23rd. You've got, like, 31 double-doubles. Okay, yeah. Um, JV always talks about how he loves having you in the lineup because he knows what he's getting from you every right. night. But just the level of consistency. How, how good does it feel to know right. that, you know, each and every night JV knows what he's getting from you and you're able to deliver? Right. Uh, for me, I just try to be consistent. That's. One thing that's not easy in this league, trying to come into every single game and play at the same level every single night. But you know, as cheesy as it sounds, I just want to give my teammates, you know, just the confidence that they know I'm going to be there. You know, I'm going to play the same way every single night. I'm going to hit the open man. I'm going to take my shots. You know, I'm just trying to keep things simple. Yeah. Uh, the Marcus Morris play, unfortunately, he got ejected for right. You guys responded to mm -hmm. that. Just how, right. how big of a play was that in the game, and, and why were you guys able mm -hmm. to respond as right. emphatically as you did? Uh, you know, he's only been here a couple a couple days, a couple games, but the impact that he's had on this team in terms of just uh, how much we follow him, how much we listen to him, and how much he you know gets us going, uh, we respect him in every single way. And it's like you know one of our guys got ejected, so it's like we wanted to play and not let him down. Right. This recent stretch of games where you guys have had to play so many games in a short period of time and without right. so many guys in the rotation, mm -hmm. um, just how much of a grind can a, can a stretch like this become? Right. Um, you know, it's definitely a grind. We all know it's a physical grind. Having to play night in, night out, that's going to wear on anybody. But the thing that a lot of people overlook is the mental side of it. I think a lot of the guys were getting hit mentally hard, even myself, just having to you know, do the same thing every single day, come in, work, and do it all. But I think we're getting past it. I think games like this where we show what we're capable of in terms of passing, in terms of just playing Cavs basketball, it goes a long way. JV was saying before the game that he almost viewed this game as a mental test. Right. During the stretch, are there things that, that you try to do away from the court to try to <laughs> alleviate? Uh, for me, it's just try to get away from basketball, you know, like days like these in Cleveland, you know, go by uh, like the lake, sit on the hill and just watch the clouds go by, you know, little stuff like that goes a long way, especially out here where you barely see the sun. You just got to find the little moments to just decompress. Thinking about what you've been able to endure, you've missed only the first five games and you right. hurt your hand in the last series and then you mm -hmm. came back and were able to play. Right. What have what has your mindset been, especially mm -hmm. with guys being out, the necessity for you to be the right. common denominator for this Cavs team? Mm -hmm. uh, it's like we were talking about earlier, it's just be consistent. Uh, if I'm consistent on a double-double, you know, or whatever it is, consistent on defense, offense, I feel like guys respond to that when they know that they have a, a denominator, you know, and they can do whatever they they want. So um, I just try to keep them consistent. That's just how I do it. Tristan talked about Marcus being a guy you could be a guy you go to war with, especially mm -hmm. in the playoffs. Right. What does he bring as a veteran presence on the interior and mm -hmm. kind of dimming the lights for you guys a little bit? Right. Uh, you know, the lights – we always struggle with the lights. Sometimes they're too bright. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's just his presence. He's in the category of a super vet. You know, everybody knows who he is. Everybody knows what type of player he is. Uh, he's one of those guys that's going to bring it every single night. An easy guy to get behind and follow, you know, like the play tonight. You know, he wanted to make sure that people know it's not going to be easy rolling into the paint, that nothing's going to be free. You know, we've responded to that. Uh, he, just going forward, we need that enforcer type guy. Last one, Jackson. 
Uh, so uh, pre-game Hornets head coach Steve Clifford said that your feel and understanding of the game is what has made you successful. Do you mm -hmm. feel like that is what has made you successful? Uh, I think so. Uh, when I first got in this league, I, I love the analogy that me and uh, Brett Bromeyer came up to get me in this league. Uh, it's like building a house. We wanted to build me a solid foundation in terms of understanding the game, understanding the little movements, you know, how to set a nice pick and roll, how to find the open man. Like, you want to look at the basket, the corner, and then the high quadrant first. We wanted to make sure that I had a fundamental understanding of basketball before I started, you know, being able to, you know, turn around and take somebody off the dribble and do all of that. So uh, I get what he's saying. That was the plan since I got in the league. This has been a tough two weeks for the team. What does a win like this do for this team? Right. I think it puts us back on track. Uh, we had career high, or not career, season high in assists. Yeah, and when we were winning all those games, we were getting assists, crazy assist numbers. So I think it's going to put us back on track to get where we were winning all those games in a row.